Yeah, that's right. Uh, thanks very much, Jody and Riaz. And it is all about natural gas safety today. So coming up next, the key areas in your home that you need to maintain. Stay with us. You're watching BT. Oh, Max, say hi to everybody. And uh, most people think that having a, a carbon monoxide detector is enough, but not necessarily, right? That's that's right. Um, nat natural gas de is... Um in the homes and um, we have many natural gas appliances throughout the homes nowadays um, from furnaces and fireplaces to um, cooktops like this. Eight out of ten chefs um, love cooking with them but um, a carbon monoxide detector is not going to tell you something's wrong and that's where we need to um, know the smell of natural gas and be aware of that and the maintenance behind the appliances. Okay so the smell is that kind of rot right? That's right. But just because you can't smell something doesn't mean that there isn't a danger. So what are the key areas we need to make sure we maintain? We need to make sure that we're aware of our appliances. Um, our manuals that come with the appliances are the best um, resource for a homeowner to be aware of and know those signs and just know that if they smell anything or they have something wrong, that they have that they work with a natural gas fitter to, to look at that. Perfect. So things like the stove, things like the fireplace, anything that has natural gas. And if you do smell it, what do you do? We're going to have those details coming up uh, in the next segment, Jody and Riaz. But Jody, I know this kind of sparked from a, an incident that you had, and we're going to make sure that our viewers are informed throughout the morning on BT. Yeah, we're talking about natural gas safety. What should you actually do if you smell natural gas and the top mistakes people make coming up next on BT? Stay with us. Yeah, it's all about natural gas safety. And we just touched a little bit, Arlene, on the importance of, you know, maintenance, like knowing, you know, having your manual handy and everything. But if we want to go a bit deeper into that, what should we be doing? Well, just like any um, appliances or equipment, maintenance is definitely key and regular inspection. We recommend that customers have their in, uh, natural gas appliances inspected probably once a year with a natural registered natural gas fitter. Okay, and people can get that information on your website. That's but, correct. you know, you get that, you smell that, you know, rotten egg smell, which That's is the right. smell of natural natural gas and people kind of, I don't know what to do. What are some of the top mistakes people make? They want to take care of it themselves. They want to start looking at where it could be coming from, checking their own knobs, going into the furnace room, and we don't recommend that. We recommend the first thing you do as soon as you smell natural gas is go outside. So we make our way outside and then what? Phone for to Specie, and if you don't know the number, call 911, and someone on the other end will help walk you through what to do next. Why is it important that you make the call once you get outside? Because I know Jody at back at the station, she made the call inside thinking doing all right. the right thing there. Why is it important to do it when you're outside? We don't know what's happening inside. It's best that we get our customers um, outside, and then we can walk through and find out what it is that's happening. They'll walk you through, and then everyone's safe. We're outside, we're safe. And you don't want to adjust anything to kind of change that environment. So Jody, I know that you had, again, done the light switches and all that. Maybe Make your way outside. That is one of the most important things you can do. Don't worry about opening the windows and all that kind of stuff. And again, all else fails, call 911 or, of course, Fortis if you have the number. Thank you That's very right. much. No, thank you. So we've already talked about what you can do as far as uh, maintenance. We know that you got to make the call. you got to be outside when you make the call. But what happens after that point? We talk about what happens when the service technician makes his way. Coming up next on BT. Yeah, that's right. We already talked about what you do if you make your way outside first and then you make the call. And of course, this is if you smell natural gas. But what happens when the technician gets there? Well, you look like this, Ian. That's right. This is your official gear. This is the official uniform for us. So uh, if you've got a technician coming, they're going to be dressed something like this. They'll have ID, so we can always ask for that. So don't let somebody in if uh, they say they're from Fortis and uh, they don't uh, look like this or have a Good have point. Their ticket. And then you're going to make your way to the furnace area. That's right. So in this um, particular home here, oops, they have just a, the best thing you could possibly want, an absolutely spotless area for the equipment. Uh, the technician, because there was a concern with a gas leak, they'd be checking out the pipe and the regulators here, making sure that there's nothing uh, obvious, uh, following up with the uh, piping and, and the rest of the room. And in this case here, here's the chimney for the furnace and making sure that that's nice and secure as it is. And way in the back here, we've got the air supply so that there's a nice supply of clean, fresh air for the, uh, the appliance to burn. Now this home, first of all, is a beautiful home. It's very neat and tidy. Yep. Um, you must have seen a lot of cases where it's not so much. Oh yes, we've seen everything from people storing uh, gasoline or other flammables <laughs> inside the, uh, the furnace. So that's not that good. Can, uh, not a good idea because it is a 
furnace. It of course. It burns natural gas, it's hot, and uh, there's a flame there. So and, the, and the temptation might be to go, oh, this is where I'll put my recycling or whatever, but you actually have oh, yeah. a really funny story of one case. Well, we went in, uh, people were complaining about their furnace having a problem. The technician arrived and he uh, inspected the house and looked around and couldn't find the furnace. We knew they had uh, gas because there's a gas meter there. Turned out that during a renovation a few years back, they had completely boarded in, built uh, built the room around the, the equipment, so. Not a good thing either, no, right? No. <laughs> there are lots of ways that you can do things correctly, and the easiest way to uh, figure that out is to go to their website, Portis BC, and if mm -hmm. you have any questions, people should just make a call. Yep. And of course, if you smell natural gas, call 911, Jody. We're talking about the importance of natural gas safety. And of course, Jody, this stemmed from, I guess, an incident where you sort of thought you were doing everything right. And, you know, it turned out that you could have done some things better, as many of us uh, maybe feel the same way. For more details on what you need to do, you can, of course, go to Fortis uh, BC's website. But coming up just before nine o'clock, we are talking about the importance of knowing what's below. What does that mean and how it's important, especially in the spring coming up just before nine o'clock on BT? Yeah, thanks very much. And here in North Vancouver, we've been talking about natural gas safety all morning long coming up next why it's important to know what's below stay with us you're watching bt a lot of uh, danger can happen right around this time of year in fact uh, a lot of people are out doing maybe some landscaping some gardening how does that tie into natural gas safety so in uh, our fortis uh, bc territory we have about uh, last year a thousand damages. It's it's going down every year as more and more people use the one call system But 30% of those are around 320 or so damages are done by homeowners doing work in their yard digging a garden putting in a fence and Honestly, they just don't know what's underground what's below. Okay, but so for instance if I'm using like I'm pulling up a couple of weeds or maybe doing a little bit of light digging are you saying I got a call every single time not necessarily if you're doing weeding and, and light gardening in, in an established flower bed, but what we've got is uh, a really good idea that everyone knows uh, what utilities are on their property. So again, making a free phone call to BC One Call, they'll get the information for their home. In this case, we've got uh, the document here. Uh, this one's from Fortis, so what we'll do is send you a map, and in this case, uh, the homeowners are actually doing some gardening, they're going to do some tree work here, and we've marked out the line for them, and what we pretty comfortable in saying is that with the roots, the rhododendrons, the, the other uh, tree, it's probably wound over the years around our gas line, so if they pulled out that rhododendron or started to excavate to remove the tree, most likely they damage the the gas line if they weren't careful. I'm looking at something like that there, mm -hmm. and it, you know, a, a root of some sort or whatever, and it looks pretty close to the gas line. So, you know, you're saying something like that is and it could be an area of concern. As far as contractors, when you're working with a landscaper or a contractor, whose responsibility is it to make sure you know it's, what's below? Ultimately, it's the person with their hand on the shovel okay. who's responsible. Uh, what we always encourage the landscapers and any other people working around your house to do is make the call to BC One Call. Okay. However, as a homeowner, it's uh, in your best interest to ensure that your contractor's done it for you. So. And just quick question, how deep is the gas line usually? Well, that's the, the fun part. We will put it in at uh, a foot to 18 inches in the initial installment, or installation, pardon me. Okay. However, this house is a few years old. There's been landscaping work here, and honestly, we don't know if the homeowners added soil, taken soil off. So just off. call. Just call. Just call, and of course, if you smell natural gas, get outside first, Jody and Riaz, then call Fortis, or of course, call 911 as an option. Thanks so much for making your way out here. Great education this morning, guys.